I have a question for you wreath makers today. What is your favorite style of wreath to make? I think I always go back to the poof wreath. You can just embellish it in so many ways. It's so simple to make. So that is what I'm going to do today. Hello my friends and welcome to DIY with Nadia. I have Leo with me today. You want to say hi to everyone? Hi guys. <laughs> and we are going to make a poof wreath. I'm going to use some deco mesh that I have left over from last year. It's 21 inch deco mesh that I got at Hobby Lobby. And we are going to make a beautiful Easter wreath. You ready to get started, Leo? Let's go. Let's go over the supplies we're going to need. We are going to need pipe cleaners. We're going to need 18 for the wreath form and two to three for the centerpiece. For the deco mesh, I'm going to be using this deco mesh. This is how much I have left. I already made a wreath with it. And I do want to mention something. When you're dealing with a multicolor deco mesh like this, it looks pretty on the roll, but when you start working with it, it kind of blends in, the colors blend in, because as you can see, it's sheer, it's deco mesh. Even though it's foiled, it's still going to blend in. So when you're in a situation like this, you need to bring out the colors. And the best way to do that is to bring in some white. And that is what I'm going to do. I'm going to grab a roll of 10 inch white deco mesh and we're going to make some curls out of this so we can bring some of this color out. And then we're going to add some ribbon. I'm going to be using this ribbon that is from Hobby Lobby and it's one and a half inches by 10 yards. As you can see, it will work together with the deco mesh. It does have the colors that we need in there. And then the sign that I'm going to use is this little Happy Easter truck from the Dollar Tree. When I'm done with the wreath, you're going to see the importance of the white because all these colors are nice, but you need to solidify your wreath. You need something that will just carry the story of the wreath and the white will always always do that it'll brighten it it'll make it look nice and we do have a little bunny behind right here that's white so it's going to work together really really nicely next i have some egg picks i want to use these eggs to put in the middle of our ribbon bundles. The wreath form I have is a metal Dollar Tree wreath form that is 14 inches in diameter. I'm going to start by putting our pipe cleaners on and if you are new to my channel we are going to go through this really quickly and simply. This wreath form is divided into six sections and we're going to break it down to a section at a time. I'm going to grab three pipe cleaners. In each section you're going to put a pipe cleaner on row one and two right in the center of the section I'm going to do two twists and i'm going to face this pipe cleaner towards the inside this part is important later on then i'm going to put two more pipe cleaners on the sides of this center one and i'm going to attach them to row three and four and face the tail out here is my second one, two twists and tail out. Not bad, right? Pretty simple. In each section, we're going to have a pipe cleaner on row one and two and on row three and four on the sides of this center one. That's it. I'm going to repeat the same process in each of the sections. I'm done attaching all 18 pipe cleaners, six in the middle row, and I have 12 on the outside row. Now it's time to attach the deco mesh. Since my deco mesh roll is not a full roll, I always get nervous. Originally, this was 10 yards. I already made a wreath using five yards, but you know how that is. You're just not sure. Maybe you kind of used a little bit more than you had to. So if you're in a situation like that, go ahead and start making 10 inch loops on the inside and when you go to the outside since these are closer together than these I'm going to go down to nine inch loops and I'm going to go all the way around I do want to make sure that I have plenty of deco mesh left if you're using a fresh roll then just do 10 inch loops all the way around when I start if I start right here here I go 10 inch loops going all the way around when I complete my circle, I'm going to go here and then I'm going to go flat with my deco mesh to my outside pipe cleaner. 
and then I'm going to continue making nine inch loops. You can definitely do 10 inch loops going all the way around. The reason we put the pipe cleaners on row three and four towards the outside is when we're making those loops, it's easier to find our pipe cleaners and you just go along. It's just nice and simple trying to work around the cat over here but he has been a lot more clingier to me since I've gotten sick he just won't leave me alone so about an inch and a half to two inches we are going to start collecting now that we have our tail we're going to attach it to one of the inside pipe cleaners two tight twists then I'm going to grab a zip tie and I'm going to attach it on row two just to kind of tuck it in towards the center of the wreath and I'm going to attach it about an inch from my pipe cleaner connection that way it's going to straighten that tail out gathering my deco mesh I'm going to measure my 10 inches and start attaching and I kind of hold it nice and taut, get my 10 inches, and then start attaching. Also, if you notice, my deco mesh roll is being rolled onto the table so that when you have your poofs, they're pretty much ready to go. Look at this. I really don't have to open them up at all almost because they're just set in a way where they're just doing their job. The poof is already done for us. And here is my last loop for the inner row. And when I'm done attaching my pipe cleaners, I face them up because we are going to need them when we're attaching our little bundles. So just face them up and get them out of the way. Now I'm going to gather my deco mesh and I'm going to go to the next pipe cleaner and I'm going to go nice and flat. I'm not making a loop right here. Let's tighten that up. And this is also where we're going to end. And I'm just going to make nine inch loops going all the way around. I am on my last loop and I'm so glad I went down to nine inches. I have a little bit left, but I don't think it would have been enough if I would have made 10 inch loops. So let me just cut the excess here so I can attach it. I'm going to attach it where I started the second row. Two nice twists. That tail, I'm going to push it in towards the back, grabbing another zip tie. Going to tie it to row three. And once again, about an inch from the pipe cleaner connection. Cut off the tail from the zip tie. And I'm going to push it back in. And there you go, it's tucked in nicely. For our white deco mesh pieces, we are going to need 36 of them and I'm going to cut them into 10 inch strips. These are going to be for little curls that we're going to be putting in our bundles. For the ribbon, I decided to add a pink one and this one is one and a half inches just like this one. It's wired, it does have some glam to it and it's going to work perfect because our little bunny has glam on there and the little truck tire also has a little shimmer going on. So it's going to work perfect. And I'm going to put the pink ribbon strips on the outside bundles. For the yellow polka dot, I'm going to be cutting 24 ribbon strips. For the pink, I'm going to be cutting 12 ribbon strips. All the ribbon strips are going to be 11 inches long. I'm going to do what I usually do and I'm going to just measure my 11 inches and I'm going to zigzag until I get 24 strips. Now that we have our 24 strips, I'm going to take each end, fold in half, cut a little triangle, making sure I cut the ends and we have our beautiful dovetails. And now for a pink ribbon, same thing. We're going to measure off 11 inches and we're going to zigzag until we have 12 strips. I'm going to fold the ends in half, cut the little triangles and voila. Now that my ribbon is all cut up, I'm ready to start my ribbon bundles. I'm going to grab a clamp because we're going to start by making the curls first. Two white curls. Here's my second one. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to crisscross them. Two yellow ribbon pieces. And this combo is going to go on this first or inner row two twists then I'm going to just twist the remaining pipe cleaner fold it in half just like that and fold it back now we're moving on to the outside row 12 bundles so same thing we're going to start with the white curls 
And then I'm going to grab a pink one and a yellow one. I'm going to bring in a little bit of that pink to the outside and I think it's going to look beautiful. All my bundles are attached. We have a beautiful full wreath. You can still see the original deco mesh in the background. And now I'm going to grab the little eggs, removing the eggs from the little wooden part. And then I am going to remove this little bow that's on them. And don't worry if a little bit of the foam comes off. You can always hot glue the, the egg right there where the foam came off. So that's okay. Not a big deal. I have 18 eggs right here. And I'm just going to start hot gluing them to the ribbon bundles. And of course, where you have the little foam part, kind of want to focus on that area. And just hot glue it in place. On the truck, I decided not to use the big Happy Easter sign. It already says Happy Easter on the truck. So I'm going to remove that. And then I'm also going to remove the hanging loop. I decided to attach in three places. There's different ways of attaching the signs. I like using the old fashioned way with my little felt pieces. Fold the pipe cleaners in half. Make sure you make a little flat space in the center. And now we're going to just put some hot glue right there our pipe cleaner, more hot glue on top, going all the way to the bottom, then attaching our piece right on top. Now I'm ready to hang the sign. Let's flip. And I always start by attaching with one twist. Then I'm going to go back, make sure that my sign is where I want it to be. I like where the sign is. I'm going to flip over and just secure the pipe cleaners in place, make a little hanging loop. So find my center on top and just do a few knots. Let's cut off the excess tail and that would be it. I'm just going around making sure all our bundles are laid out beautifully. Making sure you can see the sweet little eggs that we hot glued to the center of our bundles. And there you go, your wreath is ready to go on your door. Did you like the wreath? I thought it turned out so very pretty. I love the colors. They're so bright and happy. And it's a poof wreath. It's just a beautiful, elegant wreath. And I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making this wreath. Don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, and the bell button so you are notified every time I post a video or we post a video. For more wreath tutorials right now, we have prepared two videos for you right there. Go ahead and click on one of them and enjoy more wreath making fun. As for us, we're going to say bye everyone. No, you gotta say bye to everyone like that. Bye. Mwah.